UN, ENS 1 and 1 engineering economy module 9 benefit uh, benefit cost ratio so for this lesson we'll be discussing the concept of benefit cost ratio and by the end of this module we should be able to understand the concept of benefit cost ratio and also perform benefit benefit cost ratio analysis on different alternatives or different projects so benefit cost ratio is the method of um, selecting alternatives um, that is most commonly used by the government agencies for analyzing the desirability of public projects is using benefit cost ratio so uh, for government projects um, there are uh, different alternatives in realizing that project so using benefit cost ratio you will determine which among those alternatives are more beneficial and more economical so yun yung follow mo na um, uh, uh, procedure for that project or um, way of construction to our project so the bc method is analysis is um, bc method analysis of analysis is based on the ratio of benefits to cost associated with a particular project. So benefit cost ratio is represented by this formula. So that is a benefits minus these benefits over the um, total cost or the cost. So this is uh, where uh, benefit is means the advantages of a certain project. And this benefit is the disadvantages of the certain project for uh, the uh, alternatives and cost is the expenditures used for um, uh, construction or maintenance. So, yun yung uh, cost natin dito. So, a benefit cost ratio greater than or equal to 1 indicates that the project under construction is economically advantageous. So, if less than one siya, so, in this regard mo na yun na uh, option or alternative. So, we will go for one or uh, greater than one. Okay, so let's have our first problem. So, a non-profit educational research organization is contemplating an investment of 1,500,000 in grants to develop a new ways to teach people the rudiments of profession. So, the, uh, meron tayong 1,500,000 na. So, this is the um, cost. So, this is an investment. So, that is a cost. So, the grants would extend over a 10-year period and would achieve an, an estimated savings of 500,000 per year in professors salaries so savings meaning this is uh, this is the um, income or yung uh, benefit so um, student tuition and other expenses the program would be an addition to ongoing and planned and planned activities the, thus an estimated of 400,000 pesos per year would have to be released from the program to support the educational research so this is a support for the research, so meaning this is also a uh, benefit. So, a rate of return of 15% is expected. So, the question is, is this a good program? So, um, we will apply the benefit cost ratio na, um, concept to determine if this program is uh, good or uh, beneficial ba siya? So first is we will the uh, benefit cost ratio is um, so formula merong uh, benefit this benefit and the cost so we will determine that um, uh, figures so first is the benefit so in this problem benefit is um uh yung five hundred thousand so this is five hundred thousand pesos so the this, this benefit naman is equals to yung ito yung 100,000 kasi um, this will be an uh, outflow sa income uh, to support the program so maybe mga 
uh, seminars or mga cost na uh, to um, promote the educational program. So, say, uh, this benefit of 100,000. And the cost um, is equals to 1 million 500,000 pesos. So, since uh, benefit and this benefit is in per year, so this is uh, per year, so, but in 1 million 500,000 is a um, present amount, amount, present amount na investment for this 10-year period na program. So, uh, meaning to say, we will convert this 1,500,000 using the 15% interest. So, using the annuity na problem. So, given the um, present cost, so hanapin natin yung uh, equal amounts niya for 10 years. So, this is uh, 15% for 10 years. So, this will be equals to 298,000. 950 pesos per year. So, that is for the cost. So, now, so yung formula natin, benefit cost ratio is equals to the um, benefit, which is 500,000 minus this benefit of 100,000 over a cost of 298,950 pesos. So, this is equals to one point. 34. So, um, therefore, uh, justified yung project natin. So, meaning, this is it is a good program because the uh, benefit cost ratio is greater than 1.0. So, yan yung uh, benefit cost na uh, you, how you apply the benefit cost ratio in determining the um uh, uh desirability of a certain project okay so let's have a problem involving mga uh, in a government setting so go uh, government na problem so the national government say uh the national government intends to build a dam and hydroelectric project in the Cagayan valley at a total cost of 455,000 uh, 455,500,000 pesos so this is a cost so the project will be financed by soft uh, foreign loan with a rate of interest of 5% per year so the annual cost for operation maintenance distribution facilities and other others would total to 15,100,000 and so, since this is a dam, so this will generate an annual revenues and benefits of estimated to be 56,500,000 pesos. So, if the structures are expected to last 50 years, so yung dam natin, with no salvage value, so meaning zero salvage value, determine the benefit cost uh, ratio of the uh, project. So, the... Um, Simple way of solving this problem is by uh the mga previous problems natin is by determine the annual cost. So um by the um uh, equivalent uniform annual cost method. Equivalent uniform annual cost method So the annual benefit is equals to um fifty six million five hundred so that is the revenue. So the equivalent uniform annual cost is equals to um, so yung 45 million is a 
present worth for the uh, 50 years. So we will convert that into um, uniform annual cost using the annuity na formula. So finding the annual uh, uniform cost given the present worth of 45, 455 million, uh, million. So for a 5% interest for 50 years. So yan yung uh, equivalent annual cost nung uh, total cost na 455 million 500 um, thousand plus yung uh, cost for operation maintenance and other um, cost so this is equals to uh, 50 uh, plus 15 million 100 thousand pesos so the equivalent uniform annual cost is 40 40, 40 million 61 pesos 400 as uh, 61 thousand 400 pesos okay so now so there is no other other uh, cost mentioned so wala tayong uh, this benefit in this um, problem so the benefit cost ratio is equals to the cost uh, the benefit so minus wala tayong this benefit so the only uh, the only uh, uh, Cost here is yung mga uh, mentioned. So, uh, 56 million 500,000 over the cost na annual cost na 40 million 61 pesos 61,400. So, this is equals to 1.41. So, this is greater than um, 1. So, uh, therefore, good yung project na to. So, malaki yung uh, revenue since um, uh, the benefit cost ratio is way greater than um, 1.0 so lagpas almost 1.5 so that is for this uh, that's uh, how you solve the uh, benefit cost uh, ratio uh, involving a certain project so that's that's it for the benefit cost ratio and that is the end of uh, module 9 so thank you for listening and have a good day